I'd like to personally thank my friend Joshua for recommending me this short animated film called Field, done by Kill the Cat Productions. It was uploaded on the first day of December this year, and it flew right under my radar. Which is unfortunate, because this type of stuff is right up my alley. For a while now, I've been interested in producing my own animated shorts. Four to eight minutes long, no dialogue, and just letting the animation tell the story. That's how most shorts seem to present itself, but I've always found a keen interest in it. As I clicked on the link Joshua provided me at 3am, I was floored by what I watched. Fuel tells the story of a female cat who has lost her husband in a murder. The police manages to give her a sketch of the killer, which brings her into a desperate and anger-filled pursuit after him out of rage and revenge. She draws directions on a map, even supposedly finding an address in which she scribbled in aggressive circles, and has this photo hanged up to remind her of what she's doing. Unfortunately, her car runs out of gas. She ran out of fuel, but she is still fueled in pure revenge. The rest of the short cuts back to her traveling to a nearby gas station, to showing when she and her husband first met, and how innocent and pure they were with each other. Each time it cuts back to the grisly reality that is the present, she is caught stealing some gas and getting into a scuffle with the owner. This is juxtaposed when it is also cutting back to when they had nice quiet moments together, such as skating in the ice rink or sharing a tender moment in bed. After he kicks her away and tries calling the cops, she mirrors this sight as the killer casually walking away after murdering her husband. Her primal urges come in, and she attacks like a feral beast, but it unfortunately ignites the gas spilled on the floor with his lit cigarette. She seemingly survives, but is incredibly injured. Even with the station completely in flames and the owner presumed dead because of her own doing, all that matters to her is leaving with the gas, just so she can continue with her pursuit. She desperately pours it into the car, spilling some out into the floor, unintentionally as she's still weakened and adrenaline filled. However, as she gets back in and starts it up, the photo rips. Those same eyes that stared back at her, filled with the ugliness of a cold-hearted monster, is now her eyes. She realizes what she's done, what she's doing, and just breaks. She can't go through with it. Her husband is gone. She's alone. Defeated, she walks back to the gas station and calls the cops, not saying a word so they could come to the scene. The short ends here, with her fate being ambiguous. This short is absolutely brilliant. It tells a very depressing, realistic story in a smart, clever way, by utilizing the animation, the background surroundings, and key elements and visuals to explain everything without uttering a single word. The character design is also endearing, as you feel for the two and feel a general sense of wholesomeness in your heart while watching. But that same feeling shatters whenever it cuts back to reality and gives you the harsh truth. Reviewing this doesn't really give it enough justice, really. I personally recommend watching the short for yourself so you can really soak in its brilliance. I also recommend following Kill the Cat Productions on Instagram and subscribing to their YouTube channel. I applaud the whole team who worked on this, and I really can't wait to see what they do next. I'm giving Field a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Just